Hello students, welcome to Adi Chemistry online classes. I am Aditya Vardhan from adichemistry.com, Varangal. Today we will be discussing an important topic, the inert pair effect. This concept is especially useful for students preparing for exams like IIT JEE, NEET and other competitive exams. Let us get started. It has been observed that some post transition elements in the P block, particularly those in the fourth, fifth, and sixth periods of groups 13th to 16th, tend to exhibit stable oxidation states that are two units lower than their expected group oxidation states. As we move down a group, the stability of the group oxidation state represented by N decreases while the stability of the oxidation state that is two units lower than the group oxidation number represented by N minus 2 increases. For instance, in group 13 otherwise known as group 3A the typical oxidation state is plus 3 due to the valence electron configuration of NS2 NP1 leading to the loss of all three electrons for stability. However, as we move down the group from aluminium to thallium, the stability of plus 3 oxidation state decreases while the plus 1 state becomes more stable. The heavier elements, gallium, indium and thallium also show plus 1 oxidation state along with plus 3 oxidation number. Thallium is predominantly stable in plus 1 oxidation state except in compounds like its fluorides and oxides. In thallium, the pair of electrons in the outermost Ns orbital tends to remain non-bonding and does not participate in the bond formation, a phenomenon known as the inert pair effect. As a result, thallium is more stable in the plus 1 oxidation state rather than the expected plus 3 oxidation state. In group 14, the common oxidation state is plus 4 due to NS2 NP2 valence electronic configuration. However, the stability of plus 4 oxidation state decreases down the group while the plus 2 oxidation state becomes more stable. Heavier elements like germanium, tin and lead also exhibit plus 2 oxidation state along with the plus 4 oxidation state. For instance, lead is more stable in the plus 2 oxidation state than in the plus 4 oxidation state. Once again, the two electrons in the outer Ns orbital remain inert and do not participate in the bond formation illustrating the inert pair effect. A similar trend is observed in group 15 where the stability of a plus 5 oxidation state decreases as we move down the group while the plus 3 oxidation state becomes more stable. Heavier elements like arsenic, antimony and especially bismuth primarily exhibit the plus 3 oxidation state. Bismuth for example is far more stable in the plus 3 oxidation state with the plus 5 state being relatively rare due to the increasing inert pair effect.
in group 16 the stability of the group oxidation number plus 6 decreases down the group while the plus 4 oxidation state becomes more stable the heavier elements like selenium tellurium and polonium show plus 4 oxidation state also polonium for instance is predominantly stable in the plus 6 oxidation state with the plus 6 oxidation state being highly unstable due to the strong inert pair effect. Let us define the inert pair effect. It is the tendency of pair of electrons in the outermost S orbital to resist taking part in bond formation. The question now is why the two electrons in the S orbital of the valence shell remain inert and are reluctant to take part in bond formation. This is due to the poor shielding effect of inner D and F orbitals which causes the outer S electrons to experience a stronger attraction from the nucleus. As a result, these electrons are difficult to unpair and therefore do not engage in bond formation. That's all for now. Visit adhikemistry.com for more information on this topic. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends.